Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and I'm just going to quickly say this now because I've just got a feeling it's going to be continuous. So I do apologise for the banging in the background. My next door neighbours pick and choose their moments and decide to start doing DIY in their back garden um, at stupid times in the evening. So I do apologise for that. But today I am going to be doing like a little tanning routine. Now my tanning routine isn't like everyone else's. My one is unique. So, um, and also excuse these like sore bits on my face. It's my sensitive skin from stress. Um, but yeah, moving on. So today I'm just going to be doing like a little tanning routine. I'm going to literally just by using one product. Um, sometimes I use two depending on how intense I want the tan. Um, so the product that I use is this Bondi Sands um, Gradual Tanning Lotion. Now this is a godsend, honestly. This is so much better and stress-free in comparison to normal like tanning, mitt, fake tan, if you get what I mean. Like this just works, absolute miracles. And it gradually gets darker the longer you wear it as well. So I think, where is it? I think it's like after like four or six hours, it like comes to the final tan. Um, but what I love about this is that it leaves such a nice natural streak free finish. Um, it's honestly the best, best tanning product I have used. Now, depending on how intense I want the tan, I do use this as a base as well. So this is the Bondi Sands um, Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. So I only really use this as if I want like that more of an intense tan so if i do i use this as a base now this smells absolutely incredible it smells like eminem world so does this actually to be fair um but yeah so if you're looking for like that really strong tan these two both together are perfect um but today i'm just going to be doing tan with this but only because i just want to fresh myself up a bit for work so what i do I need my little mirror. So I have already prepped my face before just by putting on a little bit of, um, what do you call it, um, E45 on because of my sensitive skin patches. And what on earth is that on my eye? Lovely. So I have already caught the sun a little bit from, um, from last weekend. So I probably won't need as much on. Like you can see the tan line there. Um, so I probably won't need that much, but... You can't really notice the fact that I have you can't really notice the fact that I have a tan. So I'm only gonna be applying a little bit of this on. And what I do is I just apply like a normal just like a normal moisturizer. But the smell is absolutely divine. Nathan doesn't really like the smell of this, but personally I love it. I put a bit too much on my top lip there. And then what I do is I just plain and simply just use my fingers and I mix it in like a moisturiser. Now the way to know if it's like properly blended in is it starts feeling a bit harder to blend, obviously. Um, so that's getting there. And what I love about this is that it's not, it doesn't leave any orange hues. Like it literally gives you the most natural tanning look ever so much better than fake tan in my opinion i do like fake tan but like the hassle and the stress of going through it is just too and to think that i used to literally fake tan like every other day i'm not even joking when i first started getting into it which was in 2020 actually funny enough not during lockdown um the first time I ever wore fake tan was actually for Nathan's um, granddad's uh, birthday party. And I loved it. Now, when I look back now, I don't understand why I loved it. Because I was as orange as an Oompa Um But at the time, I loved it. And so because of that, I started getting into fake tanning like regularly. So doing it as often as every other day. And I used to fake tan for school. Like, you name it, you, there was literally not a single day where I didn't go outside without a tan. Um, and now when I look back, I think, why did I put myself through the hassle of doing that? Um, 
because honestly most of the time i was orange or just looked awful but at the time i did not care so just blending in i did also put it on my eyelids if you didn't notice only because um i feel like <laughs> i look so shiny it doesn't stay this shiny by the way um just to blend it out a little bit on my eyelids and then what i do is i just grab a big beauty blender that i have and just kind of make sure that it's all blended nicely so like for example my hairline as well that's the one place where um it does it gets forgotten so that's my face it looks a bit weird right now but wait until i'll do my neck as well right so that is my face done now onto my neck so the only parts of my body that i tan if i'm doing like tan for work just to make myself look a bit more you know alive and not dead um i literally just do my face and neck that's all i do i don't bother doing my arms or my legs only because i'm wearing i wear long sleeves and obviously trousers at work anyway um so there will literally be no point um putting on uh, tan on my legs or my arms because by the time i've been in a sweaty kitchen all the time my tan's not going to stay on anyway realistically and i don't know where that's gone i had a um like a tanning face brush no i can't find it anywhere but yeah, what i do is I, like i said i normally use a tanning face brush for this bit but i've got to use my hands because i don't know where i'm just going to quickly look over here because i've got a bigger mirror here where i can see everything a bit better and just really make sure that i'm getting behind my neck as well now i will blend out the line but what i love about this is that this is so easy to blend like this is why I prefer like tinted moisturisers because I just feel like they work so much better for me. Um, obviously, that isn't me saying it's going to work for everyone else. Some people do prefer just using bog standard um, phone tan. But for me, this is the best thing that I have ever, ever tried out. Just really making sure that I'm getting the key parts i remember the first time i done this using this product i didn't blend out the line properly and the line was awful between my neck and my face and then what i do just with like the little bit of excess that's on my beauty blender i just blend it around my ears as well just to make sure that i mean not that my ears need tanning because i got sunburn at brands hatch hence why the awful tan line on my hairline looked a bit questionable but yeah so i'm just i do also tend to put some tinted moisturizer from my eyebrows as well but i'm not going to do that today i need to pluck them anyway so there's no point in doing that but yes yeah, so that's literally all i do um nothing too bougie nothing too fancy that's literally just all i do um if i know that i'm gonna have my legs out then obviously i'll put this on my legs as well this it looks absolutely wonderful on um like tanned legs as well now another really good thing about this as well is that um it's extremely buildable as well so say if you want to like go through the day and like you know you just want to top it up every now and then it's perfect to build your tan um and it's really it another thing as well is that it's really good on your hands as well so if you do get some on your hands your hands won't go orange like a, a normal tan does so i mean obviously that is not from the tan i've just done that is from being sunburned at brown to hatch um but oh I'm, my rabbit scratches of course but yeah so it's um it's really really good though because it doesn't make your hands go all orange and like tangerine color um it actually leaves a really nice natural finish on your hands um but yeah 
so not an exciting video but i really need to start uploading and getting my videos out there um, because my time management on uploading has been awful but yeah so that's it for today's video guys hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys in the next one bye